On April 14, 2011, this is Pulling You number 61. Green Bridge friends, it's Michael here at Bridge Hands, and welcome to Day 1, Part 1 on Jacoby Transfers. Oswald Jacoby created his transfer bidding approach over 60 years ago. It's a conventional response after partner opens one or two no trump, and responder holds a five-card major or longer suit. Before we begin the basics here, for those of you who have already mastered the Jacoby transfer conventional bids and responses, you may still wish to view the later slides here in Part 1. In addition to offering the typical bidding logic that determines the bids and the responses, we have included interesting statistical data to enhance and reinforce your learning experience. So let's begin our Jacoby transfer journey by talking about the opening bids. After opener has bid one no trump, they have a well-defined hand. Same with opening two no trump. They have a narrow point range, well-defined, such as 15 to 17. Some people like to play 16 to 18 high card points, and we know the shape. They have a balanced hand with two cards or more in every suit. So as a result, the opener turns over the bidding leadership to the partner, to the responder. The responder may ask for more information on subsequent bids to steer the auction, or they may tell. They may provide bids to terminate the auction at a given point. So let's talk about the big picture of no trump bidding. What's that bidding philosophy that we have as responder after partner has opened one no trump? Well, it all begins with a fit. We like to try to find an eight card or longer suit fit with partner. Lacking a fit, we generally steer the auction towards no trump. And how do we do that as responder? Well, we typically make conventional calls. We'll talk about the asking bids in just a moment. The opener then provides a conventional response, answering the protocol for the questions that we ask as responder. After partner opens one no trump and the responder bids a stamen ask bid to clubs, we'll speak about that in just a moment, the opener has a series of responses whether or not they have a major suit fit or not. Unlike the stamen bid, though, after partner opens one no trump, the Jacoby transfer bid demands a mandatory rebid of a specific suit. So for those who do not already play the Jacoby transfer probably wonder, well, what's the benefit of having partner, the opener, bid my suit? Why not just bid it myself? Fair question. First off, the opponents cannot see the honors of the stronger hand, the person, your partner, who opened one no trump. Therefore, it's harder to deduce the partner's honors. The person with the one no trump honors, if they can't see them, they have a hard time figuring it out. It's more difficult to guess finesses. Secondly, when the stronger hand is initially in the fourth seat, that is, if the responder can get the opener to bid the suit that they have a long major in. And that means that the lead comes up to that strong hand, to the one no trump opener who's now playing in a trump suit. Secondly, the leader or the leader's partner may then be finessed. So the opening play by the leader may cost that leader or the leader's partner a trick based upon finessing either of those opponents. Well, since most people who play Jacoby transfers already play the Stamen Convention, let's go ahead and do a quick review just to kind of correlate and compare between the two different conventions. First off, in both cases, partner has opened one no trump. For the Stamen Convention, with a four-card major in responder's hand and invitational values or more, that's typically eight or nine points or more, then the responder bids two clubs. So the auction begins one no trump by partner and two clubs by ourselves. Then at this point, it's asking the opener conventionally to disclose a major suit holding. So if the opener has a four card major, they bid them up the line. If they have four hearts, they will bid two hearts. If they have four spades, don't have four hearts, they'll bid two spades. If they have both hearts and spades, most people agree to go with the lowest up the line, the lower rank bidding two hearts. Lacking either of those, then the opener bids two diamonds to tell responder, I am lacking a four-card major. As captain, then, the responder controls the auction, perhaps asking the opener more questions, such as bidding two no-trump to invite game, or perhaps bidding three no-trump 
to sign off in a 3-0 Trump game, or perhaps even looking for slam. Now then, the basic differences between Stamen and Jacoby transfer. The Stamen bid is a four-card major by responder seeking a four-card major by the opener. Openers typically do not have a five-card major when they open one no trump. Next, the Stamen responder normally has seven points or more. There can be an exception for those who play the garbage Stamen, but the basic Stamen, the responder has invitational values. Well, how about the Jacoby? Well, the Jacoby system, the responder has a five-card or longer major suit. And there's a small exception there, too. Some people play transfers to the minor suits. We'll speak about that in another lesson. And the responder bidding Jacoby transfer, they may have any or no points at all. We're playing one no trump with 16 to 18 points and responder inviting with seven plus points. A player can do a Jacoby transfer with as few as zero points. Interesting. So here's the first part of how the Jacoby transfer system works. Partner opens one no trump. Responder then, with a five card major suit or longer, the responder will bid one suit less than the five card major suit that they hold. The responder bids two diamonds with a five card or longer heart suit. So the auction would go one no trump by opener, two diamonds by responder, with opener dutifully rebidding two hearts. With five or longer spades, the auction proceeds one no trump by partner. We bid two hearts, one less in the suit that they want, and partner, the opener, rebids two spades. Notice that in this system, the opener is obligated to accept the transfer bid, provided there's not interference. We'll speak about that later. But recall in the Stamen system, there were a series of three steps. They could bid a major if they had it. If not, they bid two diamonds. Not so with the Jacoby transfer. The opener must bid the transfer suit. All right, in a moment we'll start bidding Jacoby no trump responses. But before we do, let's talk about the rebidding strategy by the responder. So with a five card suit, the responder will always begin by using a transfer bid. It'll be regardless of the point of the responder, as we've mentioned. And with a six card major suit or longer, the responder will always bid and then rebid that suit. In other words, they will insist on that. Why is that? Well, they know that the one no trump opener has at least two cards in every suit. So if they have a six card major, then as a partnership, they have an eight card or longer suit. And with an eight card or longer trump suit, you do want to play in trump. You don't want to play in no trump. In a minor, that's a little bit different story. We'll talk about that later. With a five card major suit for a responder, if they have less than eight points, eight distributional points that is, the responder will pass after the transfer has occurred. And with eight or nine points, the bidding will continue. There'll be some invitational bids. Let's take a look at it now. Okay, here we go. Partner opens one no trump, 15 to 17 points, balance hand, at least two cards in every suit. We as responder, have five or more spades. What do we bid? Right, we bid two hearts. Partner, the opener, what do they bid? Yes, they're forced to bid two spades. What is our rebid? Well, if we have less than eight points, we pass. We know we have at least a seven card suit. We think we're better off there than just playing in one no trump. Most of the time, partner will have three or more cards. Let's think about that. If we have five cards in a suit, there's 13 in a suit, that leaves eight. So if there are three players remaining, on average it's almost three cards held in that suit by each player. So most of the time, opener will have three. And they're going to have at least two. If they open one no trump, they're promising a balanced hand. With eight or nine distributional points then, we're not going to pass. Our partner has 15 and 17. If they have 17, we're going to have a chance for a game. So if we have five spades, then we do our rebid of two no trump. So it would be one no trump. We bid two hearts. They transfer to two spades. We bid two no trump. And then they can make the best call from there. If we have six spades, then what happens? It goes one no trump, we bid two hearts, they accept the transfer of two spades, and we bid three spades. We invite game. We're saying we know we have a eight card 
fit in spades. You have at least two. We have six. Do you want to go to four spades or not? With a minimum? They would not accept. They would pass. These are invitational bids. Well, how about if we have 10 points or more? We know that if partner has 15 to 17, we have enough points for game. Again, if we have five spades, then we start off by bidding two hearts. Our partner goods two spades. Now we rebid three no trump. On the other hand, if we have six spades or more, then it goes one no trump. We do two hearts. They accept the transfer to two spades, and we rebid four spades. And what about those mega hands where you as responder have 15 points or more, as many as the one no trump opener? Well, the auction begins the same. One no trump, responder, if they have five spades or more, they begin with two hearts. Opener accepts by bidding two spades. And now with 15 points or more, knowing that partner opened with 15 to 17 points, slam is in the air. So how do we explore slam? Well, there are two ways. One is that when we have sufficient controls as responders, a lot of aces and kings, we can go ahead and bid for no trump, ask for aces. Otherwise, without a lot of controls, we just go ahead and cue bid the controls up the line. At the three level, the opener shows aces after responder shows a second suit. So we recommend the preferred bidding treatment is that when we bid a second suit, it shows a strong interest in slam. We don't do it with a so-so situation where we have a two suitor with say 10 points. We'll go ahead and do our transfer and then either rebid three no trump or if we have a lot of honors in that first suit, we may just want to insist upon that being the trump suit. That's an option you'll have to consider the high card points in your aggregate hand. So earlier we promised you some statistics to validate the benefits of the Jacoby transfer bid. Let's take a look at it. So first let's take a look where responder has few points. So the responder has five card major suit and opener of course promises at least two cards in that suit. So we'll take a look at a balanced responder hand that is a shape of five, three, three, two, five in one of the major suits. We'll use spades for our test analysis. We'll run through a hundred hands and we'll take a look at the data. Okay, we'll take a look at playing in no trump versus the same cards playing in two hearts or two spades. That is when we as responder have five of a major suit. How about when we have two points? Okay, if it's playing in one no trump, we're gonna make seven tricks 6% of the time. Well, our partner has 15 to 17. We only have two, so we certainly shouldn't expect that we're going to be making seven tricks. And if we have a long major suit, we have five, and our partner has two or three. Hmm. Well, how about if we're playing in two hearts or two spades? It goes up to 54%. So that we can see 6% versus 54%. It's a no-brainer. We want to play in two of the major suit. How about the opportunity to make eight tricks? Well, it's down to 1%. Versus if we're playing in two of a major, we have a 22% chance to make eight. So we may not make eight tricks, but by golly, we're going to make at least seven. We'll only go down one by transferring to a suit. All right, how about if we increase the points to four? To make seven tricks and no trump, a 30% chance. If we're playing in two of a major, an 80% chance. The chance to make eight tricks goes to 9%, and we now make the 50% hurdle. We're going to make our two heart or two spade game half the time with four points. Okay, kind of interesting to know, isn't it? So when our partner opens one no trump, whether they have two or three, we're likely to make it half the time. And of course, if they have four cards in our suit, we're obviously gonna have a much greater chance of making our contract. How about six points in no trump? Well, now we can make seven tricks 69% of the time, but in two hearts or two spades, 94%. And we know that, yes, we take one more trick in our heart or spade suit, but we're up to 79 versus the 69 for playing in one no trump. For eight tricks, 36% chance. So we can see that playing in a suit fit even if partner maybe only has two card fit with us, in aggregate, we're going to do much better playing in a trump suit. So the idea is, even though we have a bust hand or near it with maybe 
one, two, zero points, who knows, we still do a transfer to our suit. Our partner has at least two or three cards in the suit, four on a very good day. We have five. We want to play in a Trump suit. We don't want to play in no Trump. Let's take a look at some more statistics. Okay, so once again, we're going to take a look at a hundred hands with a typical fit of two, a three, or a four card fit with our five. This time, though, we're going to take a look at unbalanced hands as well as the balanced hands. So in this situation, we're going to go ahead and use our same reference before with our 5332 balanced hand. But on the unbalanced hand, it could be a 5422, a semi balanced hand, a 6322 hand, or maybe a 5431 or a 5521 hand. Here we go for two points. Same numbers as before. For the unbalanced, though, we can see that it goes up by about 11%. It goes from 54 to 65%. So as our hand gets more unbalanced, we get more points. So that increases the benefit of the Jacobi transfer, doesn't it? And for eight tricks, 22 to 27. How about when we get four points? When we have four points, we're going to make seven tricks 95% of the time. And rather than 52% chance to make our two-level major suit contract, it goes up to 64%. If we have six points, 94% for the balanced hand. For an unbalanced hand, 99% almost every time is going to make seven tricks. And rather than a 79% chance with eight, we're up to 89%. So you know what that means, don't you? With six points and an unbalanced hand, we're oftentimes making a game, aren't we? Hmm, something to consider. So in part two, we'll have a handful of hands like these, where a south hand will have a one no trump opener, and responder will have two, four, or six points. We'll take a look at the different auctions, and we'll see the number of tricks we make in our suit contract versus a no trump. And this should be a good exercise to not only reinforce the benefits of the transfer, but also to see quantitatively how many tricks we make with different high card point ranges. Okay, Bridge friends, I hope you enjoyed part one of our lesson today for our free Premium and Ultra members. On our next segment, we will analyze bidding and play based upon our Jacoby transfer lesson. For our Premium and Ultra members in part three, we have more exciting hands and commentary dealing with hands on bidding and play, opener with the balanced one no trump bid, and responder transferring to a major along with their rebids. Of course, if you're not currently a member, we welcome you to regularly begin enjoying membership privileges for under $10 for a three-month subscription. So don't delay. Come on down to Bridge Hands and sign up today. Okay, everyone. I will see you on the flip side. Bye for now.